Hey YouTube, me again. It, today is um, April 28th. What'd you do? Uh -huh. Okay, today's April 29th, 2011, and it's Thursday. I think I got the date right. No, 28th, it's the 28th. Anyways, I wanted to talk about a few things today. Um, I did a lot of research and I came up with some conclusions. I want you guys to let me know what you guys think about what I came up with. Um, the first thing I wanted to talk about was the suspension. I'm not sure what direction to go with that yet. So I wanted to bring it up. I know I haven't talked about it yet. Uh, the camber kit. I wanted to go with a camber kit. I'm not sure what camber kit to go with. Either camber kit or ball joint. Adjustable ball joint. I want to know the difference. If you guys have a little bit of uh, input on that, that would be very helpful. But I know that the H2B has a lot of torque, and I want to be able to put all the power to the front end as much as possible. So either camber kit, ball joint, let me know the difference. Whichever is better for um, putting this baby to the floor. Because, I mean, you can have a lot of nuts, but if you can't put it to the floor, you ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. Uh, the second thing I want to talk about is the fenders. Uh, when, I bought the, when I purchased the car, it looked like the fenders were, were from two different cars, I think. Because one pops out more than the other. I'm not sure if you guys could tell, but uh, let, me, let me give you guys some angles. On this one, the rim stick is like flush. It's beautiful. I love the way that looks. Goes. I'm gonna flush the rims pretty soon. Maybe on the future videos, I'll show you guys what I wanna do. Maybe like an eight millimeter flush. I wanna go hella flush on this bitch. Um, so check out this vendor. Check it out from the front. You see what I mean? And then uh, come check out the driver's side vendor. See how the rim tucks in? The wheel tucks in? And then maybe if I could get an angle from the back, to, from the rear end to the front. I gotta show you guys what I'm gonna do. So one more time, you see how this is like flush from the from the bottom end? The mud flap is like hugging it almost. Well, let's jump to the other side right quick so you guys can see the difference. See, this one sticks out the mud flap and the mud flap isn't flush with the fender. So, my, my thing was that I wanted to go with new fenders and repaint them myself. I've never painted anything in my life. And I'm looking into doing the fenders that I purchased myself with paint. That's probably going to be in future videos of me painting, you know, utilizing utilizing the paint or the paint process on this car you know because there's a lot of things and dents that this car has and maybe you know that's something that I'm gonna look into but um, the fenders I wanted to go with J password JVM fenders and um, I know I looked at their website the other day and it had some site it had a um, pre-cut side markers I think for like 315 bucks 315 bucks I think that's what it costed for like um, shipping and everything for two fenders the light, the, uh, the side markers, and the actual um, connection, the connections to go with it. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if I can find a better deal somewhere else. Or if Password J, I've never purchased from Password JVM. And I do want quality stuff, but also if they're ripping you off because they're charging too much because they got that name, I don't want to spend my money on that. You know what I mean? Um, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, the second thing that I wanted to, or the third thing that I want to talk to you guys today about is uh, the steering wheel. Right this way. I have a uh, H2B. So uh, you guys pretty much know in my past videos that I talked about no power steering. So this is the way it's going to feel even when the car is on. Um, it can be a bit sometimes when I'm trying to get out of the driveway. 
Um, I got a slanted driveway and I got to angle it because my front end has kind of dropped a lot so I'm uh, in between or I'm re researching steering wheels and the best that I've come up with because I went on Honda Tech they told me uh, well I seen some uh, posts saying that don't buy eBay steering wheels because they're crap you know especially because they're flimsy I want it to be stiff because I'm gonna use a lot of force on the steering wheel um, I want, I, I was, I, my, I'm going towards the direction of an NRG steering wheel, NRG, NRG uh, quick release, and an NRG hub. Um, other than that, with the steering wheel, mm, that's basically it. Let me know what you guys think, but that's the steering wheel I'm leaning to because of the price. Um, if any of you have it out there, the NRG steering wheel, and you guys think that it's not good enough, let me know. Uh, hit me up, let me know if I should go with something else like Momo, Nardi, Nardi's, I like the Nardi's a lot, but um, they sell the complete kit, so, but if you guys think I should get uh, the quick release, the hub, separate from the actual steering wheel, let me know, hit me up.